Okay, it is many hours later. I had lots to do. I had emails to answer. I had shirts to order. I had to change some shipping addresses to get your guys' packages to you for shirts to the right address. It happens, and good thing about uh, our website is if the address don't it looks funny they will pop up and be like uh, i'm not sure this is the correct one what can we use a suggested address but i always email and um get it straightened out so i had to do that this morning done a little school with the kids boom here we are in my bedroom now listen don't judge me okay don't judge me my bed is not made yet i wanted some advice possibly as you can tell we have nothing on our walls and i have been looking i cannot make my mind up Give me some suggestions, you guys. This is pretty even space on each side of the bed, the window in the middle. What can I put on each side? And this is kind of the colors. Beige farmhouse curtains, the bed, white, creams, tans, browns, grays. I love the rustic burnt orange, so I got that too. Lamps, kind of goes the black. We got black in our bed, so anyhow i need some help you guys throw me some suggestions in the comments on what i can put on these walls in here it is just it's time i've been debating like maybe some wooden arch things you know what i'm talking about and maybe a wreath reef and uh, i can't make my mind up i'm trying to stick with my color theme i don't know what to do here y'all i usually have no problem in this area but for my bedroom I, i'm stumped I don't know what to put back there. I don't know if that would be too much. I think the arches would be too much. My OCD, it would drive crazy. But this is all very square and rectangle. <laughs> this area up here, the space I have. So, <sighs> I don't know. I need help. I, for once, need help picking decorations for my bedroom. And Sean's absolutely zero help. He's like, I don't care. Leave it blank the rest of our lives, <laughs> you know. But we've been here a year and a half now. And I have done nothing to the bedroom besides curtains and comforter. So, I think it's time to get me something to go on each side of the bed. Now, farmhouse. I think farmhouse with me. Farmhouse. Modern farmhouse. So, I've been keeping my eye on Hobby Lobby. I'm trying to wait till their table decor or their home decor, wall decor, goes up to like 50% off, 75% off, and then maybe I'll shoot over there and look. But still, when I get there, I'm like, I'm going to be completely stumped because I don't know what I'm looking for. Anywho, just had to throw that out there. Help me out, you guys. But when I go to Hobby Lobby, if it comes to that, I'm taking you guys with me. Your ice cream, Mama just put them, they got done with school. And, and wanted an ice cream right here's all their <laughs> their school stuff but i just gave you an ice cream sandwich no. yeah you're all done look it's all up the evidence is all over your face look at it toes uh-huh you got toes you got five toes bubba are you all done ready to get down oh you don't look at all like you just had an ice cream <laughs> Look what just showed up. I don't even know if we told you guys. We got the kids and ourselves a very small pool. It's 33 inches deep, so it'd be perfect for the kids to learn to swim in as long as mama and dad's in there too. We finally decided that we wanted a pool and we, we got us one. We'll see how it goes. It comes with all the stuff. I think this is going to be mine and Sean's project tomorrow. He is at the track doing some work today. But, yay. Super excited about that. It's going to be a fun summer. Lots of watermelon and lots of swimming and jumping on the trampoline. And cookouts. You know how that goes. Summertime. It's finally here. It's starting to feel that way. I think we got one more cold spell to go through before, um... Huh. Who brought that? I'm missing some mail. We got one more cold spell to go through before we're officially in summer. These are for mama. Nothing exciting. Work stuff. Okay, we're back in the house. We went out, we dared it and went outside for a little while and the wind, it, our power went off for about 15 minutes and it came right back on. Thank gosh. Yay for that. But anyhow, we're back in the house because that wind is a little bit chilly today. Y'all caught and kept going, because you know it's like 50 and the wind is blowing good today i'm about to start dinner tonight we're going easy because tomorrow i've got my whole chicken sitting in two grocery bags in the bathtub right now 
just dethawn. I just pulled it out a couple. It's still solid ice right now, but I'm gonna leave it in there until I get the dinner dishes and everything done, and then I'll bring it in here and take it out of the grocery bags and put it in the sink and let it finish dethawing. But tomorrow, I'm gonna do homemade mashed potatoes, bake the whole chicken, and uh, corn on the cob, and something else. Peas, Chloe. She loves her peas, so I'll be doing peas for her. But anyhow, tonight, I am just going with barbecue sandwiches, pull, or uh, not barbecue, Lord help me. Barbecue pulled pork sandwiches. This brand right here, Sean loves that brand. you too <laughs> but I'm gonna make some tater tots in this I'm gonna line that with the tater tots and then I'm gonna bake them pull them out put some cheese and bacon bits on top of them put them back in we bought this corn um, last week I think it doesn't appear to be the healthiest I'm gonna go ahead and make it and if it don't taste right, then we'll just throw it out for the deer. But I'm hoping it does. Maybe it's just, I don't know. Main course is going to be barbecue pulled pork and I loaded tater you. tots. I love you. I love you too. Over here. Huh? Over here. Oh, we've been playing badminton. Well, we tried outside. It didn't work. <laughs> we attempted to play badminton outside and, and because of the wind. Chloe was getting really irritated <laughs> because everything was flying everywhere. So we brought it in the house. When Sean gets home, we might play a little bit with them in the living room in there, but she was not having it. She's getting a little bit irritated because it kept blowing the ball away from her. But let's get dinner started. Sean is on his way home from the track. Gotta do dinner, gotta clean up, gotta get the kids in the tub, and then we're gonna hang out with y'all just a little bit for a night routine. Um, like I said, we'll probably, after we bath them and everything, play some badminton for a while and Sean of course they'll have a wrestling match that's just a nightly thing Colton like he has to have his wrestling match and what it else we'll see when the time comes now food see what I'm saying it, she's not I don't know, but that's a very tiny thing. <laughs> it's not looking its best. So I think I'll I'll boil it, but I'll try the first bite, make sure it tastes good. Maybe it's just a different kind of corn. I don't know. It's not looking its best though. I'm using Colby Jack, if anybody's wondering. I'm gonna grade a little bit for the top of the tater tots and then I'll cut us a few slices for the uh, sandwiches. All right, I think that is enough. All right, you guys, I'm gonna show you what I do to my loaded tater tots. It's nothing special, but we just gonna put it in the video. Seasoning salt. Give these puppies a little bit more flavor. I mean, they are a potato, just a different form. And then, of course, put the Colby Jack all over it. I'm a little bit mad at myself because I made bacon this morning and I didn't think to set aside three pieces to chop up and put on top of this. So we're going with my salad bacon bits. They're good. They'll work. Okay, these are ready to go back in the oven at 350 for about 15 more minutes. Now, the pulled pork, you guys, I know it does not look the best, but I promise you it's delicious. This is microwave safe. You can heat it up in this container. We always have no issues, but you just throw this in the microwave for about two minutes, mix it up, 30 more seconds, and y'all done. The corn, actually, you guys, is, it's looking like it's perking up a little bit. That piece looks like it still needs a little help, but the rest of it is, we always, always usually get peaches and cream. I don't know. Hey, sure. Maybe it ain't healthy. Maybe it's not good. It's went bad. I don't know. We're gonna try. Alrighty, the tater tots are done. I put some chives on top just for looks, pretty much, because you can't really taste them. You guys, I do have to say, Sean is a bit, he loves pulled pork, barbecue pulled pork. And he's, but he's picky, like everything else. He's really picky. But I'm not joking. This, I don't know if y'all can see it, it might be blurry. Maybe if I move my head. Anyhow, it's called Clifty Farm 
country meals we get this like where they have the um pre-made macaroni and cheese and mashed potatoes it's back there where the meat's at no joke this is some of the best we have ever tried and it's all sean will eat now it's the only brand if we go to any other store and they have a different kind he will not get it he loves that but that is my kids love that stuff too and chloe's a little picky about barbecue coke not so much but she is but that kind right there it's always a hit in our house so if you got little kids that ain't much into barbecue give it a try one more thing you guys i don't know if i had mentioned on here or not i don't think i have um we've got fourth of july tie-dyes up on the website right now because every year when we go to try to buy them to put them on our website Mommy. you know they're never in stock they're sold out by the end of april every year and we finally we snagged them so but it's still limited quantity so if you guys want i think i'm gonna put it like this the way i feel if there was every year and quite a few years to celebrate the 4th of July, Independence Day, it's this year. They're on the website. We have up to 5X in some of them. Um, I think we put three different styles up. I think two have up to 5X, four and 5X. A lot of people always ask us about that. As long as we can get um, those tie dyes, you guys, in four and 5X, we always do. It's if we don't have it, it's just because they don't offer it in that size. But we always try to but we did manage we got early enough this year we got in early enough and was able to get four or five x's in some of them so yeah just thought i'd let you guys know that tie dyes on the website I'm tired and not just from this i've been cutting weeds down there at the track all day here at home like this is one of my favorite jobs i can do is make a nice pretty yard for my youngins but we've got some fresh new dirt on the track we're getting ready to till that dirt track up resurface it start from scratch because it's in bad shape but won't be long y'all dirt track will be going all right i gotta get in the house i'm thinking i'm gonna need a shower but yeah this yard looks good this year, y'all. I've done nothing to it. I've just cut it. I've been cutting this since like March the 5th or 6th or something like that. I don't know. This is like my fifth grass cutting this year. It is growing crazy fast. And it's like super green too. And I'm not fertilized or anything. All right. Let's go in here and aggravate these babies. Then you jerk. No. Then you do it. Do that. Okay, okay. Do you do it. You do it. Move, Dad. Move, Dad. No. I'm going to watch and make sure you're doing it okay. Dan, you just turned two in January. You shouldn't even be. I mean, she's like full on sentences. Move, Dad. I want to do Move it. Dad. Okay, okay. Well, do it. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down in your chair. Sit down or Daddy's going to do it. Sit down. Buckle your booster seat. All right, buckle it up. Go ahead. She's watching me watch. She keeps watching Charlie. Daddy, she's got it. Tell him, Cece, say, I have it. <laughs> she can buckle and unbuckle her seat now. And she don't like any help. Miss Independent. Okay, okay, okay. And the babies, of course. There's always seconds. I got extra bread, extra corn, all that, but... We'll see how they do with that first. And mom and dad's plate. Wow! What you doing? Ooh, I like it a lot better. Hanging the 70th curtain rod I've hung in. Sean, that is such bull poop. I feel like it, because I feel like I'm either helping you change a rug or a curtain, <laughs> it seems like once a month. We have had them curtain rods for years. Anyways, I'm moving that to Colton's room because it matches his gray better. Like I was telling you guys earlier, 
our bedroom suit has got the black candles and the black rod and so does our headboard it has the black rod and you know our lamps and stuff so and i do like it much better i decided to go with black curtain rods and the farmhouse clips that was kind of the most simple curtain rods i could i believe you would ever i like them john you don't get the farmhouse vibe you just don't he said they're I simple the vibe acts are killing me. <laughs> Five. Don't hit the ceiling fan, please. I'm trying not to. I mean, it just matches our bedroom suit better to have the black. And Colton's, those will be perfect for because he has the gray walls, the charcoal furniture, so that'll look better with his. It's simple, but it's something. I told him I've been debating forever looking for something to put on each wall here because it's there's nothing in the bedroom. We haven't done anything to it. Get to go this rod out of my way. Boom! What's One toddler's clean. <laughs> Do you smell good? One fresh toddler. Do you smell Cookie. good? Now we got one more to go. Yeah. One more to go. Yeah, she's emotional. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> You're silly. <laughs> you are too. <laughs> okay. You're Toddler lying. number two clean. You guys, <laughs> my kids are in bed now. I am fixing to go take a shower myself, but I was getting my chicken out. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator, let it finish defrosting overnight and it completely brought back a memory some of you guys have been here long enough now i think this was back in 2020 during the pandemic when we all a little crazy back then but um most some of you will remember the whole chicken vlog that me and sean done and i baked the chicken upside down and through the whole vlog we were like man eating it this is the boniest chicken we <laughs> it was upside down somebody in the comments was like um it's bony because you cooked it upside down i was just sitting here i got that out and i started laughing to myself because <laughs> how embarrassing was that you know like twenty thousand people seen that that um we baked the chicken upside down didn't even notice ourselves and uh, boom, complained about how it was the boniest chicken ever because we was eating the bottom of it, the wrong side. We wasn't eating the thick, plump side. So that was embarrassing, but it got me tickled because me and Sean sat and laughed our butts off. After we started reading the comments, we were like, wow. You know, we all have our moments, and that was a moment for us. Let me show you guys my new sign. Well, it ain't new. I've had it outside for, um, all winter really but I, I decided to bring it in some of you that's been around for the last six seven years remember probably that i used to be into the primitive home decor then i moved over to shabby chic and now i'm I sort of shabby chic boho and now i've kind of moved into farmhouse which to me they can all kind of go together you know what i mean the primitive i don't I made a thing or two here and there. I'm like, oh, that's pretty. It's cute. Don't do it though, Megan. But like, you know, candle scones, stuff like that. I will browse the primitive section now, like on the internet, Amazon, whatever. But I, I love my farmhouse stuff. I mean, we are the last house in the holler. We live in the mountains. We live in the country. Why not go with the farmhouse theme? I'm exhausted. Been a long day. Got a lot done. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Some work stuff done kids school done them bathed sean fed <laughs> he was starved when he got home he cleaned his plate and that is sean does he sean hardly ever cleans his plate you guys but he was just it was gone like that i mean he was hungry he must have not took him no food down to the track when he went down there to work today so time he got home boy it was all gone i'm going to get my chicken in the refrigerator I'm going to get my behind in the shower because I need it. Kids had one. I always, 
is it just me? I always feel sweaty and gross after I bath the kids. I guess because the steam, two separate baths, the, you know, the bathroom's hot and stuff. And so, yeah, mama needs to take one too. But I'm going to call this a night and I'm going to end this video here. Now, y'all come on back tomorrow because we got the pool content. We are going to be putting our swimming pool up. We are going to be baking a whole chicken with some lemon and butter under the skin. Going to be making some homemade mashed potatoes, some corn on the cob, and maybe a fruit salad for dessert the way we make it. I ain't decided on that yet. I got all the ingredients. It's just I have a watermelon in the refrigerator I need to cut up and we need to eat like now. So I was thinking maybe just do that tomorrow and then do the fruit salad after we eat the watermelon because, you know, the fruit salads, marshmallows, cream cheese, all that stuff, it's good. So I don't know. We'll see. But anyhow, I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. We'll see you guys tomorrow on the next one for the pool, the chicken, all that good stuff. And uh, as we always say, stay positive, stay country, and stay true to your roots. We'll see you on the next one.